Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Dave. In today's video, we're going to be looking at functional equations. Now a functional equation is an equation in which some of the unknowns to be solved for are functions rather than numbers. What I mean by this is if we have an equation like 5x plus 13, we can very easily subtract 13 from both sides. And if we do this, we get 5x is equal to 60. And if we do one step further, we can divide both sides by 5 and we get x is 12. In this case, we solved for x and we obtained a single value for the variable x, namely 12. When we deal with functional equations, what we are trying to do is we are trying to find the definition of the function. So let's try and solve the following functional equation. What we have here is f of x comma y plus y times f of y comma x minus x is equal to zero. The first step will be to isolate f of x comma y on the left-hand side of the equation. So we'll do the following. f of x comma y is equal to x minus y times f of y comma x. Now it would be nice to find the value of f of y comma x. We can do this simply by swapping the variables. So if I do that, I will have f of y comma x is equal to y minus x times f of x comma y. Now I can see that if I take this f of x comma y, I can substitute it in to my first equation. This result will give me f of x comma y is equal to x minus y times the quantity y minus x times f of x comma y. Now what I have to do is I have to try and open up the parentheses on the right hand side and doing this gives me f of x comma y is equal to x minus y squared plus xy times f of x comma y. Now, as you can see, rather than having an equation that has both f of x comma y and f of y comma x, I have an equation that only has f of x comma y. And this will allow me to simplify the equation. I can do this by doing the following. I can move the term with f of x comma y to the left hand side so that I will have f of x comma y minus xy times f of x comma y. And this will be equal to x minus y squared. From here, what I can do is I can factor out f of xy. And this will give me f of xy times 1 minus xy is equal to x minus y squared. And from here, it's fairly easy to see that f of xy is equal to x minus y squared over 1 minus xy. I can now check my answer just as I would check my answer if I was working with a numerical equation. All I have to do is plug my answer back into the original functional equation. So this would give me x minus y squared over 1 minus xy plus y times y minus x squared minus 1 over xy is equal to 
x. Here, all I did was I simply moved the minus x over to the right-hand side. And if we multiply the second fraction, we will get y squared minus x squared y over 1 minus xy. And the first fraction stays as it is. So that's x minus y squared over 1 minus xy. And we can add those two together. We can see that these y squared will cancel out. And that will give us x minus x squared y over 1 minus xy. We can then factor out an x from the top, and this would give us x times 1 minus xy over 1 minus xy. And we can clearly see that the 1 minus xy is now going to cancel out, which would give us x. Thus, we can check and we find out that our solution was correct. Thank you for watching the video. If you have any questions, and especially if you like this new format where I write the problem out with a pen, please leave a comment down below, and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video.